Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. Holland Reviews, where we're going to be reviewing one of the books that we've just read, and this book was How Do Dinosaurs Stay Safe? Now, a lot of the questions that I had at the beginning got answered in this book, and there were also some other things that I saw in this book that I was really excited about too. So, remember how I said that I wonder what kind of dinosaurs are in this book? Well, Mark T, who's the one who illustrates this book, he helped us out a lot. So when you look at the pages, sometimes you might see little writing somewhere. He actually puts the names of the dinosaurs in this book. Now, some of these are really hard for even me to pronounce, like Estramenosuchus. So, you know, if you like dinosaurs, you might even take some of these names and look up what type of dinosaurs these are. Cosmoceratops. Sounds like Triceratops, but I've never heard of that one before. Gigantosaurus. I definitely have heard of that one before. But one of the other things that I noticed when I was reading this book is um, I had a, an interesting theory or a thought that I thought might be right. And I looked at this front page, and I said, does this look like kind of like a family? Like a mom telling her son to stop being unsafe? And I noticed that on one of the pages, it actually answered a question. Right here, it says, when mama says no, does he run down the stairs? Now, does it make sense that a mom would have a dinosaur for a kid? Hmm, no. But dinosaurs don't normally wear masks either. So I'm wondering if maybe the author of this book was pretending like she's writing about maybe her kids or maybe she's pretending to be a mom who would make a book for her son, maybe. A lot of these look like they were being like boys. Maybe they were being like girls, I don't know. But it seems like they're pretending that their kids act like they're crazy dinosaurs. That's one thing I really liked about this book. But I didn't think I didn't know until I started reading it and it said stuff like mamas and papas and like they're friends. Like dinosaurs can't be friends with kids. Normally they would like wonder what kids are doing. They also don't go swimming. But that's what makes this book so fun. And it's another rhyming book, so you can go through and you can read it as it rhymes, and it just sounds like it goes together. So, one of the other last things I'm going to talk about is the fact that uh, not only does it say how do dinosaurs stay safe, they started talking about things that dinosaurs did that like were not being safe, and then in the last part of the book, they talked about ways that they are safe. And they said, dinosaurs are safe and here's how. And they showed us pictures and gave us examples of how they were safe. So maybe if you had a project or maybe your teacher said, how could we be safe in class? Maybe you can use some of these examples. Now, obviously when you go to school, you're not going to go on a long hike and need a water bottle like one of the dinosaurs did in this book. But maybe you need to know how to dial 911. Or maybe you need to be careful when you're on the swings. Those type of things. I think this book might really help us out. Think about things that are safe for us to do. Or things that can help us be safe. But that's just my review of this book. Maybe you want to go back through the book and find all the dinosaurs names that are hiding on the pages. Or maybe you want to find your favorite dinosaur. But until next time, I will see you all later. Bye.